Today we're going to measure dwell on a straight six Chevy motor, 3.2 liter. Here we go. Wiring up the scope. We have here a um, 1X probe connected to the minus terminal and connected to ground. So you're on the low side of the uh, coil. Well, you have an MSD Blaster 2 coil here with a um, resistor about 0.8 ohms and a dwell meter connected also on the low side with a sensor right here on number one. Okay, let's get the motor started. Let's see how we're going to do. Okay, we got the motor started. Here's our display. We're set. 10 volt scale, 20 millisecond on the time scale. Let's see, idling around 640, dwell at 35 on the snap on meter. Here's a close up here. What we got. So we can see here the voltage spikes for the breakdown voltage. See so the time scale. You can see much better what's going on here with each cylinder. There we go. You can see the um, coil recharge on the dwell. You can also see the high voltage spike before the uh, gap is sparked over, before the spark plug gap is um, broken down from the, the gap in the voltage. And here we go, we have a test we can run here. We can do what they call the short circuit test. The short circuit, one cylinder at a time, RPM will show contribution of each cylinder in terms of minus. Like, here we go, we get a short number one. So we lost, on average, about 30 to 40 RPM by losing number cylinder one. Cylinder number two, about minus 40, minus 50 on the contribution of that cylinder. Okay. Okay, here we're showing, if you look carefully, you can see the high voltage spike before breakdown on the spark plug, and then you can see the recharge of the coil on the low side, which is dwelling, how long it dwells for during the charge. Right here, we got 660, dwell of 35 degrees. We could shut down one cylinder at a time, and look at the contribution from each cylinder. For example, I'm shutting down number one. There we go. Number one has dropped us between 30 and contribution of about 30. Wow. Turn back on again. Here, we're going to shut down cylinder number two. See what the contribution is. Not yeah, about 40 to 50. Shutting down cylinder number three. Okay. Big contributor here. Cylinder number four. Okay, jumpy. Shutting down cylinder five. So we lost about 30 there. Now, finally cylinder number six. Push that. See, we lost about 60, 50 to 60 in roughly. So you can see which cylinders give um, the most amount of effort and work and which ones um, give the least amount of effort and work. Here we go. Well, this is a spark plug behavior right here. Spark plug, high voltage spike, burning. There's the, the burn right here, and then there's the recharge on the dwell of the coil. Okay, we're back. Now we put in the stock Delco 
AC Delco Remy um, coil, the original coil that belongs in this car, new old stock. And we got rid of the ballast resistor because we have a resistance wire in this wire harness known as the pink wire, which feeds the coil on the, um, the plus side. So we're running with a stock Delco. And let's see the results now. Okay, we're up and running now. Monitoring the binding side of the coil. We focus on the here. Alright, cars have warmed up yet, so we're at a, we're about a thousand RPM. We're still on the high idle. But we're well still at 35. You can see now the um, what's happening with the coil. You can see the high voltage time period before breakdown is extended slightly. It's this space right here. You can see the, the breakdown time period from the time uh, the coil is broken down from the gap, from this spark gap in the, in the spark plug. Same settings, dwell 35, still 35 RPMs, a little bit higher at an open choke. And here's our um, dwell coil recharge and spark, as you can see here. There's original fuel pump 6790 for this car, brand new old stock. See here. You can see something interesting here if I open it up. The ringing from the coil, leakage inductance with the capacitance. But you can see the spark period here. The car is actually running a lot better with the stock Delco choke and coil and the ballast resistor removed so that we're just operating at the original 1.4, 1.5 ohm input resistance of the coil. Now granted that was at room temperature when this uh, engine heats up and the copper goes up um, and expand and the uh, temperature coefficient will have a little bit higher resistance there about 0.33% per Celsius degree. 